I try to make it a very quick one because uh, for this thing, this is the this is the ESP32 uh, 31 actually. It's the beta version of uh, ESP32 I just received from Expressive. Um, this is a small little. It's just a small little board I received with a small little breakout board and uh, and this whole thing. So I just set it up and I put a LCD screen on that. Um, I'm not sure whether the demo works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it's not. <laughs> I'm not sure it's the whose problem. But what happens is now is uh, I'm, I'm doing one small little uh, WebSocket server. And for this web page, actually, what it does is grab all the video. Then it's, it's, it's streamed to the nice. LCD screen. Nice. So yeah, it's screen. But sometimes it works, sometimes it's not very <laughs> not working very well. I'm not sure it's an SDK. Work, it uh, <laughs> it's OK, because it's <laughs> Always works every time. Uh, uh, it's stuck somewhere. I'm not sure if it's uh, their firmware problem or the hardware uh, or the hardware problem or it's my web server problem or my web browser problem. <laughs> mm, I have no absolutely no clue until they have a uh, proper debugger for the chip. But currently, we only uh, rely on the serial port to get some dump some data, and the data is not very clear. But so, mm. is this bit more difficult on the old one or? Um, uh, they have uh, they have uh, uh, Atos SDK, which yeah. is a uh, free Atos. Yes. Um, to me, it is much easier because there's a uh, Atos and there's and there's a uh, uh, LWIP stack. Yeah. So that uh, many of those are uh, existing jobs based on LWIP, I can just port over. Yeah. Even the even the HTTP server, which is uh, come with the uh, LWIP, the contribute libraries I can compile it into into the into the server without any code change. Yeah. I can just take the C file compile and put in it to so it become a HTTP server. Actually I'm, I'm using the ESP open RTOS which is a yeah. different variant which is more free. Yeah. And the web server code I wrote to work on my laptop first and then I just compile it and it works on the ESP. So that's the yeah. same benefit you're mentioning there. Yeah. But you have the same like code that it, it everywhere like it. Yes. you can run it. So that's really cool. uh, it's uh, it's working. It's not working. Sometimes it's working. I, I spent about two or uh, two days to write the firmware. But for this JavaScript thing, yeah. it's about twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I I know nothing about JavaScript. I just find out. And I just Google. I type in. I say grab video frame JavaScript. Then they caught some <laughs> some people already did that. <laughs> so that's pretty. <laughs> so you receive it and then you send it back also. Oh uh, no. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, so okay, okay. oh, what happens is uh, yeah. this is uh, the left side. Is, this is a video. It's a it's a yeah. fixed yeah. video. This is the video tag. Then uh, left the side canvas. is actually gra it's a canvas. Yes. Yeah. And and then you draw to the canvas, yeah. and I change this to like a uh, sixteen bit color because original was thirty two bit, and I reduce it to thirty two bit uh, sixteen bit color. And for this screen is uh, one sixty by one twenty mm -hmm. or twenty eight. So I can roughly calculate it's about 40 kilobytes per second, mm. per, per, sorry, per, per frame. So I'm running about like uh, 10 frames per second, so it's about 400 kilobytes per second. Wow. It's streamed to the, to the screen. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it works and actually it can go faster, but... <laughs> Probably somebody could write and take the code or something. <laughs> uh, de definitely, right, so uh, definitely be because... Uh, what we know is that this is a dual core processor. There's a one processor for the for the Wi-Fi, and another processor is a picking processor. But for the SDK they give give us, there's only one processor is being used, mm. and uh, that's why we have plenty of RAM because then another processor is not underutilized. So yeah, it gives us a lot of. The SDK is the Wi-Fi one, or sorry, the one that is used in the SDK is the Wi-Fi. It's one. the Wi-Fi one. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it is the Wi-Fi one. So the other one there. There's no currently no way to use. Currently, it. there's no way to use, and uh, it's supposed to have Bluetooth. And currently, the SDK doesn't open that okay. well, also. But it is continuously evolving. So, but are, are, are the, the two cores similar, or is it different cores? I uh, suppose there are, there's one low energy core and the one full power core. Right. Okay. So that you can you can you can like uh, sleep the high power core all the time. Sure, and sure. The one. This is the what we we know now. Yeah. But this time the documentation and everything is much much better than of course. Time, so yeah, they, they learn a lot. Yeah. So uh, how much RAM does it have when you start? Um, okay, this is a very uh, confusing topic now. Yeah. 
um, the, the, the claim says, says that it's uh, 400 kilobytes of uh, RAM. Yeah. Um, what we know is it, it, it had to be divided by two processors. Mm -hmm. So you have half. Uh, but when we uh, have the SDK, we, use the, we, we try to get the heap, fun uh, heap size. It's about 70, 70K. Oh, okay. okay but, and they claim that this is the uh, beta testing. So um, they guarantee that in the end, we will see about three times of the free RAM, so 200K of RAM. Yeah. So that's what we know, we know now. But it's this thing is still evolving. And this is not the final product yet. Course, so yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't know. Then it gets into the very nice size for, uh, for doing some yeah. live programming. Yeah, right. yeah. Or it would be so I, I, would, I asked them to send one to me too, so I'm waiting for one to arrive uh, at yeah. Hong Kong. So, that's, yeah. Yeah. so this is the one. Is there any indication yeah. of the tracks? No. 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 When will it? It's in a few months. It's right? supposed to be the first quarter of uh, first quarter. 2016. Okay. Mm, <laughs> All right, so once again, leave the demos on. Uh, I leave so it here. <laughs> uh,